What's going on, everybody? So today we're going to be talking about some of the Mutt Squad's controls for Madden 18 Ultimate Team. Now, this is a list that EA Sports released during the, um, you know, the whole EA Play thing. And um, it's pretty much going to be very, very similar. If you've ever played, uh, you know, team play before, it's the same thing. It's just Madden Ultimate Team, you know, just going to add a little bit more oomph to it. So looking at the way the directions and everything is, I remember playing it. It's pretty much all the same thing. Um... Um, a lot of the things that ha have to do with the actual mechanics of the game We just don't know how the gameplay is now based on some of the things that people are saying that have played it It's a lot better than 17, but I remember in 25. It was really really clutch man The team play was very very good very very exciting and um, it looks like that's what they're trying to get back to But the one thing that I did notice um, That was kind of crazy was the boost offline now if you've played Madden 17, you've known that if you motion your guy out for like the boost, like early in the year, when you were able to do like a, a, a quick boost off the line, they changed it so that when you motioned your guy out, he kind of delayed and act like he went to sleep and then he would run the play afterwards. And it actually helped out a lot of the uh, veteran guys to run routes that would always get open because the defenders just didn't respond. Like you would motion a guy over and then he would just stand there for like 65 minutes and then he'll run his route. So the corner's like, yo, what's going on? Nobody knows what's happening. And I don't think that they should have patched that but again, people are complaining about it, and that's what happened um, over the last two years with Madden as a franchise. Um, it just continued to listen to feedback from any, like just any random person that just complained about things, and then they would patch it. Because in my opinion, that kind of made the game a little bit more glitchy by delaying it. Because that guy, if you would say, for instance, uh, put him on a, um, you know, a slant and motion him and then he just waits and then runs the slant later and then the guy is open because the corner moves back even if he's in man coverage it kind of it, it, it was really really difficult to deal with that i would much rather the speed burst because you could just you know back your guy off and just be there uh but either way that really caught my eye uh the foot fire which is like you know x square and l stick stuff like that foot fire and direction the, you know change up and things like that they, they're giving you a little bit more control over the receivers which is probably a good sign because for most of the people that were like, you know, what's going to happen with the swerve and all that stuff like that? The swerve is out of the game, but it doesn't really matter about the swerve itself. It's about the defensive mechanics and how you can actually counteract whatever the offense is doing. Because if you look at the wide receiver and defensive back scenario, if you're able to, you know, instant loss for DB or instant loss, you know, whatever, with the way that you press or whatever like that, like say that you try to get off the line and the other person calls for a press and their press wins, you know, that's still... If you're able to have control like that when you're playing another opponent and controlling the game yourself, that's, in my opinion, is moving in the right direction. Uh, most of the Madden veterans will understand what I'm saying. Uh, the more control you see that your defender has, the better it is for the gameplay. And that's always been the way it's been in Madden over the years uh, that I've been playing it. Uh, whenever they were able to actually show you and dissect these type of things, because you couldn't do, like, individual stuff like this with the way that they're doing it with team play, that adds more emphasis on the overall gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Because in every year of Madden that they had team play, defensively you were able to do a lot of different things, uh, which means that it, it kind of correlates to the actual overall game. So looking at these things, um, we'll have to wait to see because right now the, the full game isn't complete yet. And right now these are just, you know, preliminary gameplays that people are getting right now at EA Play. They still have to fine tune it a little bit. They have another couple months before the game is actually released so right now a lot of the games being tested and um you know some of the bugs are being taken out of it etc etc but having this descriptive mechanics of the wide receiver the cuts while in press and the scenarios this is huge and you guys will realize what i'm saying when the game is released because i haven't seen this like but since 25 right i think it's since 25 because it's pretty much all if i can remember correctly uh, it's all the same type of things except for that like boost offline. They didn't really have it written like that But you were able to get a speed burst all you guys that played team play in the past know what I'm talking about And if you haven't played it yet, it's just pretty much like you would motion your guy and he would get like a quick step You know what I'm saying? Like he would just like jump off the line um, it, it looked kind of fake but it's sort of like in the real NFL when a guy, you know, they know it's man coverage or whatever it is and they try to see if it's man or zone, the wide receiver motions out a little bit and then he just shoots up the field. That's pretty, mo pretty much what that boost off line is. Now the foot fire and things like that, I gotta wait to see exactly what's going on with that. But that's something that I wanted to share with you guys about the boost off line because that really, really caught my eye. It really, really caught my eye. Just like, what the, are they really gonna make that happen again? So we gotta see how it turns out because after all, everyone that has played it has really enjoyed it. 
And I think the reasoning behind them enjoying it is because they finally got control of the defender and the wide, you know, vice versa. Just just having control of your player, making sure they go the right way, things like that. That that's huge. Because let me let me tell you right now, I've been a user player my whole life. Not a D-line user. I've always used her, you know, middle linebacker, linebacker, stuff like that. Never like on my corner craziness like that. But that that that's been lacking over the last couple of years. And um, you know, with the sliding around stuff like that. So hopefully with the way that they have this design now and the creators and the developers are putting more emphasis on actual control of the players, we'll be able to enjoy the game a lot more. And it'll encourage a lot of the individuals that don't really otherwise use it to start usering and start to make plays themselves instead of having the computer do it for them. So as far as the list goes, as more information comes out, you know, I'll definitely keep you guys aware of it and things like that. But that that boost offline, I'm, I'm very, very excited to know exactly what's going on with that. I pretty much already know what the, the gist of it is, but I just had to share this with you guys just to make you guys know what I'm feeling about Mud Squads. How are you feeling about Mud Squads? And if you've played it at EA Play, leave a comment. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.